We will discuss here about effect of temperature on resistance. Resistance of pure metals increases with increase in temperature. For metallic conductor, this variation of resistance with temperature is linear. The variation of resistance with change in temperature is shown here as a line. Let us measure the resistance of a metallic conductor and also let us record the temperature at the time of measurement of resistance. Now, let us heat up the conductor for some time and measure the resistance and temperature again. Here, R0 and T0 are the measured resistance and temperature of the conductor at first time and R suffix T and T suffix T are the resistance and temperature of the second measurement. Now, due to change of temperature, how much resistance will be changed depends on the actual resistance of the conductor at initial temperature. In a simple manner, if resistance of the conductor is more, the change will be more, and if resistance of the conductor is small, the change will be small. Hence, the change in resistance due to change in temperature is found to be directly proportional to the initial resistance, that is, RT minus R0 is proportional to R0. It is also needless to say that change of resistance depends on how much the temperature of the conductor has been changed. That means, if variation of temperature is more, the change in resistance is more, and vice versa. That means, RT minus R0 is also directly proportional to the temperature rise T suffix T minus T suffix 0, let's say it is T. This change also depends upon the nature of the material. That means, for same temperature variation, different metallic conductors of same resistance show different changes in their resistance. Thus, we can express the change in resistance as RT minus R0 is directly proportional to R0 into T. Or RT minus R0 equals to alpha 0 R0 into T, where alpha 0 is also called the temperature coefficient of resistance at 0 degrees centigrade. Or RT equals to R0 into 1 plus alpha 0 T. This expression can be applied for both increase and decrease in temperature. From the graph of the figure, it is seen that resistance of the material continues to decrease with the decrease in temperature below 0 degrees centigrade. If we go on decreasing the temperature to a very low value, the material attains a state of zero resistance. The material at that state becomes superconducting, that is, conducting with no resistance at all. This condition is not practically possible. That means no conductor can get zero resistance property. Hence, this graph will not touch the horizontal axis. Instead, it will be parallel to this horizontal axis. This diversion of graph indicates that the resistance of any conductor will become constant after a certain minimum temperature. After this minimum temperature, the resistance will decrease no more. Hope you got a clear idea. Thank you.